Hello guys, I'm Austin Dawson here, and today I'm going to be talking about Michigan. They just, they're offensively just did not look good in that game against Notre Dame. If you guys didn't see it, Notre Dame won 24-17. to They just, defensively, they actually figured them out. The second half, Notre Dame, I believe, only had three points, which was a field goal. So Michigan's defense, I, I like. Well, I didn't like them in the first half, but the second half, their defense, they figured them out, and they they saved Michigan. Well, they tried to at least. You know, they lost, and believe it or not, Michigan has not beaten a ranked team on the road since 2006. Yes, it's been 12 years. Well, just about pretty much 12 years, and it's that's just that's just that's. Just a disappointment, just disgraceful. And Shay Patterson, he, he didn't look that good to me. You know, yeah, he, he was on um, twenty for thirty, I did like he did. He was he did get um sorry, two hundred and twenty seven yards. But he didn't have a single touchdown in that game. And he only and he did throw an interception, but he didn't look that good. It's like and things I didn't like about um Michigan's offensive playmaking, it was horrible. It was like, oh, yeah. You said you're going to do something different? Yeah, they ran the ball too much. It was annoying. You know, it's like, you have a quarterback. Like, make him have some, like, play actions or slants, you know, something. Or throw it deep. And Michigan did not really throw it deep in that whole game. Like, come on, you have to throw it deep to get somewhere. Like, when Notre Dame scored one of their touchdowns, you know that should be picked. He, they you know they went deep, and you know what? It got them a touchdown. And that's the only thing I didn't like about Michigan earlier is that they gave up two touchdowns. And I believe they were down what, what was it? Um, twenty-one to three. Yeah, I believe, yeah, twenty-one to three. And the one thing I hated though as well is that we only got one offensive touchdown because we ran it back one time. That was a good running back, but. But it's just our offense looked like garbage. It just it was it was a boring game overall. It like Notre Dame, I gotta give you props though. Props to Notre Dame, they looked good. You know, even though they didn't look, they only scored three points in the second half, they looked good. They looked like an elite team that they also could be. I don't think they'll make the college football playoffs. Who knows? They could surprise me. They could. But I do think they'll be in the top 10 for sure because they are number 12 and they probably will be higher than that. Definitely since Washington lost and there are probably other elite teams that lost as well. I'm not really sure off the top of my head right now. But yeah, Michigan, it's going to be a rough season. Once again, my prediction, I already lost my prediction. That could have went either way though if you really think about it. But I think it's going to be 8 and 4. Who knows? It could be 7 and 5. Because what this team just don't know. We already know we're going to win the next two or three weeks. Because we're probably going to be in Nebraska. I believe that's in Nebraska and Northwestern. But the three key games we have to we have to see if Michigan actually going to be good this year. is against Wisconsin, against Michigan State, and against Penn State. And it's at the big half for, against Wisconsin. It's at Michigan State. And then it's at, and then it's at the big house once again. We already know we're gonna lose Ohio State, so that one we already know. We already know we already have two losses. We actually we already pretty much have three losses because we're Michigan could surprise and they could they could be nine three. They won't be ten and two. There's no way that's happening. I don't see that for a fact. It would have to be no way for that to happen, but I don't know about John Harbaugh, I don't know. He or is it no sorry, Jim Harbaugh, sorry, sorry. John Harbaugh is his brother, but he just seems like he's really getting worse and worse each season. I liked his first season, and that wasn't even, that wasn't even, even a lot of his players either. So it's like now it's his team. And it's his fourth season. You think he would already, you know, know what he's doing by now, but he's just struggling. And I don't know. It's just I don't know what to say about it. I, McCaffrey. Oh, yeah. Sorry. McCaffrey was four for six, but he looked really. I, I liked him. You know, he knew how to throw passes, and I thought 
They should have given him more time. I do understand though that you know you put Patterson in first, and if you leave if you leave Patterson the sidelines, you know, and put McCaffrey clutch time, it kind of does. But a um, you know, it's it's not a good luck, you know, for um P Patterson. But you know, we lost anyway, and props to to the Irish. It was. Uh, I guess it was a good game. Not really. Like at the end, the score goes twenty four to seven, so it was close. But at the end, you know, it was a crappy game. I think either side it was a crappy game. Yeah, and he didn't end up. What was it? I think he fumbled it. Patterson right at the end, and that's how no one won the game. I believe it was. I don't know if he swat. I think I think when the um Nordin the um. Defenders swat the ball off his hand or something. I forget exactly, exactly how, what happened. And then, and then they found Michigan found the ball and lost with 46 seconds to go. And they could have tied the game. Now, if Michigan could have Michigan won, if they went to overtime, who knows? But either way, they lost. We gotta come back. Seem gotta be better. If this team honestly is, this team is gonna be ranked. I don't think this team's gonna be ranked at the end of the year. Who knows? It could be. But what is I? If this team is not at least top fifteen, it's it's a, it's already a lost year. And in my opinion, I feel like we gotta give her John Harbaugh or Jim Harbaugh. I just I don't see anything new. It's like if nothing new is gonna happen, then what's the point of keeping it? There's no point in keeping him if we're not going to move forward and get better. Well, that's really my thoughts on this game, guys. What do you guys think? Was it a good game, a bad game? I thought our offense looked like trash and our defense. I liked our defense a lot. Our defense looked great in this game. But anyway, guys, if you liked, liked this video, please drop a like. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter. I'm so close to 400,000 views. I thank you guys for that so much. I believe I also have 335. 100 subscribers, like it's just, it's just crazy how far I've been on YouTube, I've been on YouTube for pretty much 4 years, I've been making videos pretty much 4 years, like my first video appearance was in August, it's September now, 2018, and it was August, early August, it was the water ball, it was the, um, it was the challenge, I forgot what the ice bucket challenge, what it was, and yeah, that, yeah I thank you guys, the one for you guys, you know. I wouldn't, you know, I wouldn't be getting any views or subscribers or, you know, you guys are the reason why I do videos, so guys, hope you guys are having a wonderful night, wonderful day whenever you guys are watching the video, and go blue. Believe in amazing blue.